You haven't sold anything in over four months. All of our money problems are my fault. What about you being the head of the household? Doesn't it say that in your precious Bible? <laughs> I do have a job. Yeah, $15 an hour is considered a job now. By the way, we had a staff meeting today. Meacham called a staff meeting? So he knows I was late? Mr. Meacham wants to see you. I just can't give you any more chances. I've got to let you go. You're always going on about how you're going to get fired if you take the kids to school and... That's exactly the reason why I'm home in the middle of the day. Uh, I got fired. What you ought to do is sell that stupid lot that your dad left you. You're the only heir. If you sold that, we could pretty much pay off this house with what you'd make. I've told you many times. I promised my dad not to sell the lot until the time was right. What are you waiting for? A sign from God? All I can tell you is my dad was very specific that I'd know the right time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You need some help there, son? <laughs> More than you could know. Well, I don't know about that, but let me, let me help you with the fence. Did you hear that voice? The voice? Uh, son, I, I just walked up as you were coming out. I just got here. And I heard this voice. And you think that was the voice of God? Exactly. That, but it was what he said. What did he say? Show the people that he is alive. Well, bro? You gotta do it. You gotta show the people he lives. You do this thing on your lot, and you'll have friends. <laughs> and you will not be a failure. Thing, Mr. Carr, when are you going to be working at your lot again? I think there'll be some folks wanting to help out. Do you think normal, everyday people hear from God? Yeah, we all hear God, son. He's always there, directing us toward our destiny. 